Hey friends, it's Jamie. Welcome to Solvine Guidance. We are checking in for our amazing Pisces clan. So sun, moon and rising are the strongest energies here that we'll be checking into. Obviously it can relate to any Piscean in your chart, which you have no doubt. Um, and in addition to that, this could be vice versa. So let's check in with the energies, my loves. All right. Now I did a reading and it crashed and the reading was amazing so i want to see if we're going to get a similar energy a similar result come through my loves so let's see what is going on shall we all right for our pisces nope it's very opposite let's see <laughs> this is really opposite of what we had before a lot was around victory and wins but let's see so under this might be underneath the surface pisces underneath the surface so we've got emotional loss uh trapped in fear and solitude i feel there's something that that you're missing or something that you're longing for here pisces in terms of, of achieving something in your life um we can also see too that the, the trapped in fear is kind of like that seven, um, eight of swords energy. So it's, it seems like there's something that you're you're stuck in right now and you might be feeling a little alone um, on the journey. Um, what I do feel though, that there's something here that you may have to, it's not necessarily heal from. I mean, I think we're always healing from things, but I, I do feel like there is something here that you've got to accomplish for yourself and only you can do that if that makes sense uh, when it comes to working through this um having a look at the challenge we've got the keeper cards we've got a message showing up so it seems like someone's contacted you um we've got child and we've got toil and labor so someone is making things quite difficult for you it seems pisces and hence why you might be just feeling like you're a bit tired or a bit just lost energetically I feel like I'm feeling a little bit drained here for you on trying to work with someone help with someone um there could be an actual child in the mix here that you're trying to work with um or maybe you work with children maybe this is your own child maybe um this could be a sibling of some kind but I'm just feeling here whatever is happening someone is has got potentially some form of I'm going to say trauma here. I think we all have that from experiences, responses, but this could be the other person you're dealing with um, that is suffering here as well. And I think maybe you're suffering because you're trying to help them or support them. But in addition, maybe they, this person doesn't even see that all their problems pouring on you is making you feel like no matter what work you put in, no matter what effort you put in, you just can't get a result. You're always feeling like all the apples in your basket are gone and you've got nothing left to give and the, the day's only halfway through, right? And that's something that you've got to survive off. So that's kind of the energy that I'm getting in here right now. Um, so again, I'm not sure your situation or who you're dealing with, but it just really seems that someone is, you know, I feel like, again, this, this might be someone's just behavior or or mindset or something that you might see often but has been that's who they are or who they've been since they they've been a younger version of themselves okay let's have a look at what's hidden what you need to know queen of wands high priestess nine of pentacles so pisces um It's really interesting. I feel whatever's happening here, when someone is doing well or some do, someone's doing grandio grandiose things, when someone is just doing their thing, following their beat um, and feeling good about it, this is where you might find this energy comes in. So maybe watch for that what's happening here because I see that you're doing really well I see you're following your goals I see that you're really trying to accomplish something here that you're feeling very called to do with this high priestess energy and the queen of wands is very much about your pursuit here because we're seeing the strength that's coming through we're seeing the rewards we're seeing the benefits both financially both on a you know feeling secure within yourself so I don't know who this is but it's a little bit um I can imagine 
it might get to a point that it, it can be a little bit annoying sometimes or a little bit too much because it, they just can't see what they're doing or what they're bringing and how it's impacting you. And I think you're trying to be very supportive, but it gets to a point where enough's enough. You shouldn't be working your ass off, killing yourself to try and keep this person happy. Sometimes they have to figure out their own happiness and you can only provide so much advice. At the end of the day, they've got to be willing to take it and do something with it. So let's have a look at um, the energy when it comes to the past representing the present. So this person might feel that they might be just very codependent here, Pisces. With this three of pentacles and six of swords, it's when they're connected with you is only when they feel at peace. When they're not connected with you, I feel that things get difficult. So again, I feel like that's just a tempo or temperament to check in with here uh, regarding this situation. Let's have a look at what is in your headspace and around the ideas that you're thinking. Thank you, spirit. That's a lot of cards. We don't want that many. One more. Thank you. All right, guys. So we've got the lover's energy, the king of swords and the page of pentacles so again there's a younger energy around you this what this is also what could be the person around you is a bit of a younger energy could be younger less mature spiritually and emotionally but uh in saying that the lovers the king of swords and the page of pentacles You might be considering cutting this person out, Pisces, or you might be considering, you know, getting them the help that they need. But I do feel you're in a decision right now on what you should be doing with this person because they're not offering you enough to keep you, um, what's the right word, potentially engaged or interested or willing to keep going the way things are going. So I can see that you're really considering this. Um, and like I said, for some of you, you may be seeking some, some support here, you know, maybe like therapy or someone to talk to something of that nature. But I do feel you're leaning in potentially with someone to help navigate this but there is seems to be decisions of the heart that are at play here with the lover's energy um or it could be related to a connection that in particular that you have uh that you want to help so let's have a look at the near future okay we can see here very much so you just you just want things to feel good pisces you want this fresh start you don't want this tension these problems these dramas in addition to you want to be in a safe secure place you want to grow you're you'll be soon you know in that strong place if not already in that nine of pentacles energy where you're very you know strong in going what you going after what you want you're confident you're doing your thing you're getting results and you're really happy about it okay that's what's happening in the mix and maybe this is a good distraction but then something shows up and it's just like when is this just going to go away when can i just have a smooth ride you know um but we're seeing here that s soon things will be f feel more fresh things will feel more light and things will just i I feel go in a better way, but someone here needs support. Someone needs help. And it's not necessarily from you. And maybe that's where you've got to remove yourself a little bit. But I am I am liking this part of this Queen of Pentacles energy because it shows me your growth that's happening through this as well. When you stay focused on things that make you actually energized and feel good rather than drain you. Let's have a look at your power here. We've got the Empress energy. And we've got the five of wands. So this is very much about Pisces. Um, your, your gains, your goals, and what you want to kind of manifest in and achieve here. And it seems that there, maybe right now with what you're doing, you're wanting to achieve so much that when there is a little bit of scattered focus, what happens here is that everything comes at you and then you don't know what to do with it because you're really not clear on what you want. So this is about defining what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. Uh, and that's what's going to put power in this situation. You might find that people, all these people are fighting 
over you, wanting your attention, wanting your time, wanting your energy. And it's just like, I ain't playing in that game. So just be mindful of those two different energies that are showing up here because you're in a strong, prominent position. People look up to you. People see your strength. People see your energy and they want it. They desire it. But I think this is where you've got to protect it as well at all costs instead of allowing someone just to come in and take it because for them, like I said, I just feel this little bit of codependency here that may be going on. So let's have a look at your environment. All right, Pisces, environment is about new beginnings with the Ace of Swords and we've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is really about giving to to things that are needed to give to. So you might have found, like I said, some new start or some new beginning that you're working on or growing or expanding on. We can see here it might have been a challenging start of where to put your energy. We can already see the conflict in, you know, the the pursuits of something, but we're also seeing a potential just a slow bumpy start uh, with this new beginning that you're looking at going after or creating. Uh, new beginning couldn't could just be you know the next chapter of something, the growth of something, but yeah, we can just see here that where you give, you're really trying to look at, but that's also going to be an important piece to the puzzle here being successful and getting really clear also like I said on what you want and what you want to achieve that's going to be incredibly important here Pisces because that's going to help define where to give having a look at your hopes and fears we have got the three of wands and the devil energy yeah you're worried about the plans and the things that you're taking action on um there's either two parts you're either like very very focused in a way that's not you know, I don't feel like you're, you're stuck. I think this could more so be trying to do everything. And, you know, it's kind of like that treading water energy is maybe what you're worried about, that things aren't going to progress the way you want or that move. I guess a question here is like, what change are you making right now? Or where's your energy going into? In addition to this person kind of making things a little challenging or their energy draining you a bit, what else is it that you're really actually trying to focus on? Because what I'm just seeing here is that you you have a plan, you're working towards something, you're putting things into action, but then you've got this either a temptation to take a sidestep, a temptation to kind of pull back and withdraw and then you know, maybe get, you're getting into a bit of procrastination mode, or maybe that this is just moving to the next stages quicker than you thought, which is also then creating like this part of you where it, I'm just feeling overwhelmed is what I'm feeling here. And it can make sense as you're progressing, but Maybe that's what you're worried about is part of the success. When there's success, when there's growth, it's like, well, then I have to deal with more. And that could be part of what you are experiencing in because you don't want to be stuck somewhere. And I know, I don't know. I think this is a common thing with Pisces. You don't want to be trapped in a box. You need to be free and flow with what, what feels right and where you're going. But it doesn't mean you can't be focused. I think there's just this part of you as you grow, you don't want to be stuck somewhere. So let's have a look at the outcome and what you need to know. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Page of swords, six of cups, knight of cups, two of cups, two of pentacles. So whatever's happening here, this younger energy that's around, um, is I think trying to reflect on on their actions, where they've been, what they're doing, and their own emotions here. So they might come around and apologize, Pisces, um, for you know just a little bit of their behavior. Uh, I don't think they have a lot of self awareness, and that could be the issue. And maybe someone's trying to bring it to their attention, or with the help they they get and support, that's what you know comes across. But what I do feel too that wherever you're leading or going, in addition to that, for some of you, this is really about. Um, the bigger things that you love, the bigger things that you want to pursue that really have meaning for you. I really see something coming together here. Um, you've got two of cups and two of pentacles. So you've got a lot going on in your life, Pisces, it seems. So even though you might have downtime moments, those downtime moments still have you in thought or still have you doing something else. I feel like it's not so common 
just to be still and not worry about things. I feel there's always something going on around you energetically or within you. Uh, but what I'm seeing here that's happening is things are coming together, emerging together, becoming more peaceful, but you're always going to need that little vibration of things still moving forward. And that's really key for you. But either which way, wherever you're going, Pisces, we can see, like I said, deep things getting deeper, things moving forward in a really nice way that are connecting together. Um, there may be some further choices that you need to make down the line, but these choices too, I think are going to be really uh, happy for you because our balance what makes you feel balanced and whole is going to be different for everyone. So I don't feel there's a right way on what that looks like for you. It's just what works best for you. And you're going to figure that out as you keep moving forward towards whatever this togetherness is about or who it's about or something that you want to achieve. But I definitely see someone coming in to really present something to you and just to make things, I uh, think, smoother, more connected. Uh, and I really like that for you. I'm going to leave that with you, dear ones. Stay bright and we'll speak soon.